Hi, my name is Krista Tahada. Growing up as a little girl in Colorado, I came to know God at an early age. I was raised going to church and going to Sunday school, and I was baptized when I was about the age of 10. When I was 18, I experienced one of the first mass school shootings at my high school, Columbine, in 1999. It was at this point that I realized for the first time that I would die for my faith, as others so courageously did that day. But what I wasn't doing was living for Christ, and it would get worse when I moved away to university the next year. At this point, I didn't have a personal relationship with Christ. It was simply a religion that I believed in. As a result, I strayed from my faith and made many poor decisions. I began to put my faith in worldly things. I began to idolize success, money, recognition, and really whatever happiness my husband and my career and those around me could bring to me. I failed to recognize where my true strength comes from. As a result, I became overwhelmed with my circumstances. We were at the height of our career. We had a beautiful, healthy family, and I still felt empty, discontent, angry, depressed, and anxious. I was overwhelmed with fear, and I was plagued by this even in my sleep. It was one lonely night in January when I cried out to God in complete desperation. As I began to journal and ask God to help me, to heal me, and to heal my marriage, I was directed to my Bible, to Matthew 25, the parable of the three towns. It was here for the first time I read it with a new perspective, and I felt that God was calling me a lazy servant who was doing nothing with what he had given to me, that I was wasting the gifts he had entrusted to me. I'd been so focused on my circumstances, I had taken my eyes off Jesus and where my true identity comes from. So at this point, I surrendered it all to God. I recommitted my life to Him. And it was at this point that I felt for the first time in my entire life a true and personal relationship with Jesus, not just a religion. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. As I said before, because of the traumatic events that Columbine High School shooting, I always knew I would be willing to die for Jesus, but now I wanted to live for him, to be used for him and by him, to be a vessel of his love. And although some days I still feel anxiety and fear, I know where my true hope comes from, and my hope comes from the Lord. I now know and receive the gift of salvation that he died for me that day on the cross. And all those bad choices and times where I was off track have been washed away by the blood of Jesus. Today I live and breathe to share the good news of how Jesus rescued me. And he wants to be that for you too.